Hi, I'm Charlie Prell. I'm a sheep farmer from Cookwool, about an hour north of Canberra in New South Wales. Our property, we have 120 years of rainfall records on our property. I've been monitoring those on a spreadsheet and the average rainfall over 120 years has dropped by something like 50 millimetres. The Millennium Drought was the critical event for me in relation to climate change. It triggered my awareness of, of the changing weather patterns. The vast majority of Australian food is still grown in Australia and there's a whole bunch of small farmers particularly out there that are struggling to make ends meet and they're starting to equate those changes in weather patterns to a broader change in the climate. We're already seeing in the pubs and clubs around regional Australia, we're seeing people just talking about and discussing the weather and climate change without the fear of being branded as a, um, a greenie for want of a better term. People like Barnaby Joyce are not speaking for the majority of farmers and my, my big hope for this group called Farmers for Climate Action is to change that whole dynamic, to give people, individual farmers and then groups of farmers the opportunity and the support to challenge the paradigm of, of Barnaby Joyce. Personally I, I'm taking a lot of uh, precautionary measures including trying to have wind turbines on my land but lowering my stocking rate and making sure that the animals are cared for in a, in a volatile environment. It would be really good if we had the wisdom and the foresight in Australia to reward people to look after the environment more. That, that happens in the rest of the world in different ways and it needs to happen in this country. It, it does matter that people look after the environment and run environmentally, economically and ecologically sustainable farms.